Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Let's Paint a Mini. So I thought that we would go back to Mansions of Madness and we're going to be looking at more of the Streets of Arkham expansion. And what we have here is called the Loiger, I believe? He's a big, hulking, scary centipede monster. He can show up in a couple of the Streets of Arkham scenarios under specific circumstances. Uh, I've had to crank him out a couple of times in, uh, in my times playing the game, but I figured we would paint him. And I kind of want to do another blue-purple color scheme. So what I did was I started with a layer of just white, so we've got some, some regular white here. Next, we're going to move on to some imperial, pur yeah, imperial purple. Now we're going to use this purple to cover most of the miniature, actually, almost the entirety of it. So we're going to get out a fair amount of paint onto our little plastic surface right here. All right, and we'll do that trick uh, by watering down our paint just a little bit. Now I'm going to be using a big old brush right here. This isn't a uh, even a miniature brush or anything like that. It's just a regular standard brush with some, some thicker bristles on it. But that's okay, because like I said, we're not doing any detail work or anything like that. And this is a big guy, so he's going to take a little while. And we're going to do our trick where we water down our paint just a little bit. So I'm just going to take my brush and just dip the tip of my brush into my water just a little bit like that. You don't need too much at all. And then I'll just work that into my paint a little bit like that. And then let's just cover, like I said, almost essentially the entire miniature. We're not going to worry about the mouth, because we're going to use a, a reddish color on the mouth. But yeah, we're going to use this base coat of this dark purple color. And then we're going to be having some fun after that. So let's just cover the whole dude. And yeah, like I said, if you, if you water your paint down a little bit, you should be okay. I think that you'll be in good shape. It looks like the mouth, like the muscle of the mouth kind of comes out right about here so I would just paint I mean like like you know what I've done right here I would leave that the way it is because we're going to use that um use our our red color for the mouth that we're going to be using on that later on I'm also going to mostly leave the claws the way that they are because we're going to go over the claws with another color later on as well Got a little bit too much water on my brush there just a second ago, as you can kind of see, but that's okay. All right, now I ran out of paint already, which is kind of to be expected because this is a large miniature and it is going to take a while to, to get your paint all on there. No big deal though. Hopefully that should be all that I need. Is that water that I've already got on my surface there and just kind of Load that up a little bit. There we go. All right. Oh. So now we have a very, very, very purple Loiger. All right. Now, before we get any further, I do want him to completely dry before we move on to the next step, because we're going to be doing a lot of dry brushing here, just to add a little bit of depth and a little bit of variety and all that that's uh, going to be apart from the... Uh, from the shade that we're going to be using. So I'm gonna let him completely dry. Make sure I get a nice even layer around everything. I think that'll be fine. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna let him completely dry and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Our Loiger is nice and dry now so we can move on to the next step. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do all of the scales and the spikes that sort of uh, line the creature, the sort of chitin that he's got. And we're gonna kind of do what we did with Tommy Muldoon yeah, Tommy Muldoon, if you were if you watched that video, if you remember that video. And we're actually going to dry brush some blue over that. So I've got some true blue out here. This is just a, a standard, very bright blue color, almost sky blue, something like that. Uh-oh, I think my paint nozzle might be stopped up just a little bit. That's okay. All right. Just get out my little safety pin that I have on standby. There we go. Get that going. Beautiful. Okay. All right, and we're just going to dry brush all of the scales and chitin and armor and spikes and all that good stuff with that true blue color. And because it is such a large miniature, I think that I can get away with using this mid-sized mid or medium-sized Citadel dry brush. So let's just go ahead and do our dry brushing thing where we get a little bit of paint onto our brush. Not too much. You want to wipe off most of it. Remember, that's why they call it dry brushing. Just like that, just kind of ease your way in your little paint puddle, just a little tiny bit. You don't need very much. There we go. All right, let's just go over all of the chitin, all of the armor. And I think that this will be an interesting sort of uh, aberrant 
color contrast with the blues and the purples and that kind of thing. Yeah, there we go. That's like a weird color contrast that I think works out pretty well. I like that. Okay. Very alien or otherworldly, which I feel like is very, very much in theme with Mansions of Madness. And this will make a really good contrast, too, to the Star Spawn, because the Star Spawn, I, you know, I just kind of associate with green, with a, a weird green sort of color palette, and I feel like with this thing being, you know, purple and blue and all that, that'll be a nice contrast to the Star Spawn. But yeah, like I said, we're just doing a quick little dry brush over all of the scales. Now I'm gonna leave the arms. I'm not gonna do the arms or the underbelly. We're gonna do something uh, different with them. So we're just gonna go ahead and do all of the, all of the chitin, all of the sort of creepy bug armor and the spikes. Uh, so one thing that I just posted on the channel recently was um, uh, a playthrough video of Murder on the Stargazer Majestic, which is the first of uh, first new uh, scenario that comes with the newest expansion, which is Horrific Journeys. Murder on the Stargazer Majestic takes place on a rigid airship, as they would call it on Archer. And uh, we had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, it's an okay scenario. If you want, uh, you can go ahead and check that out. I'll go ahead and put a link to that video in the description for this below. Uh, I played that with my wife, Riley, as well as my brother, Mark. And we had a lot of fun. And we'll probably do more Mansions of Madness playthrough videos and all that as time goes on. But yeah, let's let's continue painting all of our Mansions of Madness miniatures. There are a lot. There are a lot of them. And they're going to take a little while. All right, now as you can kind of tell, as you uh, um, might tell, this is taking a little while. This is a very large miniature. Uh, so just, you know, don't worry about it. It's not taking as long as some miniatures that I've painted, that's for sure. Uh, but just take your time. You know, you're here to relax and unwind and have fun and just paint some miniatures. So don't rush yourself. Don't stress out. Don't, don't, don't rush the process because that's not going to make it look as good. But it will take a little while, so just be prepared for that. All right, and I'm pretty happy with that so far. So there is our, or there are our scales and spikes for our Loiger so far. And I think he's looking pretty decent there so far. So I'm gonna rinse off my dry brush. And then next up, let's go ahead and highlight all of the muscle tissue and the underbelly. And to do that, I don't just wanna use that same blue color. So what we're gonna use is this amethyst purple. And you know what, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's not a huge color contrast, really. So I'll tell you what, uh, forget the amethyst purple that I just did there. And instead, we're going to do a brighter, more prominent pink color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this entrail pink here, and I feel like this is going to be much brighter. So let's try this instead. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's much brighter. Got more of a kind of rosy sort of look to it. Let's try that, and let's continue using the small size brush that we were just using a second ago. I think that that will still continue to function fine. Do our regular dry brushing here. Yeah, there we go. That's got a that's got a little bit of a brighter sort of muscular look to it. I like that. Okay, let's let's stick with the entrail pink here. Let's get the underside of the tail here too. Like I said, the belly and the muscle tissue we're going to do with this pink color. So yeah, let's just try to get underneath, if possible. Yeah, that's coming along pretty well. That's got a got a nice, bright sort of look to it. I like that. Now, it might be a little bit tricky to get up in here just because the little tiny arm, the little tiny T-Rex arm there, is kind of cutting off where you're at. But just kind of do the best that you can. Don't worry about it. You know, if you get a little bit of paint onto the blue that you've already done or anything like that, I think that you'll be fine. This particular step is definitely taking a while just because 
you know, you want to be a little bit more intimate, a little bit more careful with the muscles and all that kind of stuff here. So this one is taking even longer than doing the base coat of purple over the whole thing. So, you know, just be prepared for that. But again, uh, as long as you just kind of, you know, take take an hour or two out of your day, you should be able to crank out this miniature. It shouldn't take too too long. All you need is patience and goodwill, and you'll be okay. Something that you might want to do personally as well. It's up to you. You know, obviously everything that you do is up to you because it's your miniature. But you might take the true blue and just do it over the uh, the belly. The sort of uh, the belly, I feel like, is maybe a different kind of chitin, but it's very clearly a different kind from the the stuff that's going along his back like that. Uh, so you know, you might use the blue there rather than use the. Uh, the entrail pink that I'm using here. But again, that's up to you. It's just kind of whatever you would like to do. I kind of like the uh, the entrail pink for the stomach, so I'm going to stick with it. But if you want to do true blue for that, you can as well. All right, I think I'm already out of my pink color. I might need to get out a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I like that uh, that color scheme. That's nice. That's gross. That's really cool. All right, and I think that uh, that'll be it for that step here. Just get a little bit more onto the foot here. There we go, that'll be fine. So now I'm gonna fully rinse off my brush. And to be honest, there isn't much more to do. All I'm gonna do is the, the mouth, the sort of gummy, fleshy mouth, as well as all of the claws. And we're gonna start with the mouth and we're gonna use some fire red for that. So this is just a nice bright red color. That's all that this is. Oh, is my bottle all stopped up again? It might be. Oh man, heck, it's been happening a lot lately. Oh man, that's really dried up. I just bent my safety pin. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, I don't think we need that much. I'm just going to get out a couple little drops there. All right, I feel like I can safely get away with uh, using my old uh, medium reaper round brush here. Not going to be doing too much detail wise, but it's also not so huge that we can just use a giant, you know, brush carelessly. So let's just use this. Not going to worry about the teeth right now. We have an invasion of the war tooth. There's a Toki Wartooth right here. What you doing, Toke? Sniffing my camera? Just a little bit? Oh, you're just you're just walking by. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna have a very bright red mouth. But we're going to be using a shade later on. Just to kind of help with the shading over the miniature generally speaking just some little tiny spots as well as the mouth and I think that that will be okay oh there we go Yeesh. that's gross okay very very bright that's okay we're gonna we're gonna shade a little bit as we go so I'm gonna rinse off that brush and there's a Toki war tooth again what you doing Toki What are you doing? Oh, you want to get on my lap? Oh, Toki. Okay. All right. And the next up, we're gonna go all the do all the teeth and the claws and all that kind of stuff. So I figured we'll just use a fair shadow color here. I don't think you need to use this particular shade or this particular color or anything like that. Just any sort of you know tannish, bonish color that that you really like. I think that anything will be fine. It doesn't really need to be terribly picky. And uh, I feel like the teeth and the claws are big enough that we can just keep using that same brush that we've been using uh, for the mouth. This uh, this medium reaper round brush here. Uh, just because, yeah, these are these are very large features, and we don't need to worry about detail work too carefully. The toke is back. Hey, get out of that water. That's not no. That's bad water. That's not good water for you. Go away. 
You have water in your bowl, you little punk. Okay, so there's the, the whole row of teeth there. We're almost done here. The only thing that I want to do is I kind of want to use a shade for the mouth and the claws just to kind of bring a little bit of shade to them. While we have a Toki Wartooth just walking all over our painting area here. All right, so I'm getting out my Agrax Earthshade right here. Really, really like this stuff. This is pretty good stuff. And we're going to use a uh, medium shade brush here. And like I said, I don't think that we're going to do anything too dramatic. Like, I don't want to cover the whole miniature or anything like that. But uh, what I want to do is I want to do the mouth as well as the claws and all that. And that will just bring a little bit of shade to those. That's not bad. Okay. And then, like I said, we'll just go ahead and touch up the claws as well everywhere. All right, and then we'll just kind of look for any spots that we might have, you know, missed or, or glossed over. Like, you can see just a little bit of white in the corner of that little T-Rex arm right there. So I'll just kind of go over that really quickly. Just anything else that might have some, some little white spots showing or anything like that. And then I might do the underbelly just a little bit too. Oh, you know what? I did forget one thing, and that's uh, all of the eyes. So I kind of want the eyes to be a little bit of a glowing sort of color, or a, a red color. So we're going to go ahead and just use that fire red that we've already got out, because it should be nice and wet still. And we are going to uh, make our brush just a little bit smaller. I'm going to use a uh, medium-sized Reaper round brush, just so I can get the, you know, the bristles into the, into the eyes there. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. All right. And you know what? There we go. I'm going to go ahead and call it with that. That is the Loiger from Mansions of Madness. So there you go. That's a that's a complete uh, Loiger right there. He's nice and menacing, really gross, like a big centipede with arms and legs and just... Ugh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he's nasty looking. So there you go. Uh, folks, if you like the video, go ahead and throw it a like. If you want to see more miniature painting stuff, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of uh, board gaming stuff, tabletop gaming stuff. Also really into Doom, so if you like a lot of Doom content, you can uh, check that out there. Um, I'll do more of Mansions of Madness. If anybody wants to see any particular miniatures or uh, anything from Mansions of Madness, uh, just let me know in the comments. If you want to see anything painted in any particular order, just let me know in the comments below. But I won't take up any more of your time. Thank you again so much, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time.